Hello and welcome to EL Lesson 20. I hope you are doing well, second graders, and we are continuing our work in our purple module books. All right, here is our learning target today, okay? We're going to be identifying three challenges faced by Mary Anning. Identify her responses to these challenges. Practice retelling the middle of Stone Girl, Bone Girl. So we've already been doing this, so we're just going to continue our work. Okay, so does anyone remember what a challenge is from Miss Zhang's class? Does Juan know? Um, Miss Fine's class, what is a challenge? Is it something easy? No, it's not. Does Griselda know what a challenge is? Or Giovanni? A challenge is something that's difficult. It's not easy. And we already know Mary Annie has faced several things that have not been easy. So we're gonna continue with our Curiosities Museum where we're going to put all of our wonderings about the world. Because as we know, scientists are curious about the world in which we live in, okay? We have a new fossil to add to our Curiosity Museum. I'm gonna make the picture a little bit bigger. So this is a new picture here. It's fossil photo number two. And I would like you to take an observation. A take, you may pause the video and notice any details you see about fossil photo number two. And you may discuss this in small groups this week. Notice the size, the shape, the edges, how it's buried, okay? Scientists make observations and they usually are writing things down, right? So we don't forget. All right, to remind you, I can answer questions about how Mary responded to challenges in her life. We can learn from others. Mary definitely had some things that were not so easy in her life. We've already written some of these down. On page 72, we talked about how Pepper died and they had no money. And Mary and her mother went to bed hungry and her mother began to sell everything she could. Wow, so we already have a list of, of not so easy things. Let us continue with the story, Stone Girl, Bone Girl. And I love these vivid illustrations. What's cool is that they're, they're, the illustrator is drawing the past because Mary Anning is finding things from the past. So that's why you see the illustration of the dinosaurs and then you see present day, or not present day, but Mary Annie. But it wasn't at the same time period. She was finding things from the past and she heard about a sea monster, remember? All summer, Mary searched for curiosities for her shop. She borrowed books about fossils from the Mrs. Uh, Philpot and from Miss Philpot and learned everything she could. Her mother was delighted with the money that Mary was earning. So she's helping. She has a challenge. They don't have enough money. How is Mary responding to it? But she was worried about Mary alone on the dangerous cliffs. Mary reassured her that the little dog would run for help in an emergency. Because remember, Mary found a dog. As she searched, Mary thought more and more about the giant sea monster about the and about the cliffs in prehistoric times. She imagined fantastic landscapes inhabited by extraordinary creatures. So that's what she's thinking about, is the past. Ooh, look at the volcanoes in the background. Wow, and all the different kinds of dinosaurs. All right. Let's see. One morning, Mary was so busy daydreaming, she didn't notice that her dog had wandered away. Okay, it looks like she's on the edge of the cliff here, exploring, searching for curiosities, okay? So see what you can find out from the picture. Look at the picture for it to help you with the text. One morning, Mary was so busy daydreaming, she didn't notice that her dog had wandered away. 
She ran along the beach calling for, her, for him, but he was nowhere to be seen. At last she heard a faint barking and looking up, she saw the speckled dog high on the sloping slide of the cliff. Mary called for him to come down, but the little dog wouldn't move. He was furiously scratching at something in the clay. Mary had no choice. She began slowly to climb the rock face. At last she, she reached the little ledge where the dog was standing. She, her heart missed a beat. She couldn't believe what she saw. <gasps> Grinning up at Mary was an enormous skull. The little dog had found the sea monster. All morning, Mary scraped furiously with Pepper's hammer. There was more than a skull, a whole skeleton. But it was far too big for Mary to cope with on her own. Who could help her? Suddenly, she remembered Pepper's old friends, the quarry men. Leaving the little dog to guard the monster, Mary Anning climbed carefully down to the beach, then ran as fast as she could to the quarry. I found it! She shouted, I found the sea monster. In less than 10 minutes, Mary was leading a group of quarrymen carrying picks and shovels up the sides of the cliff. Wow, so she, she ended up finding it. So let's go back to page 70 because we can answer this question now. What did, what big discovery does Mary Anning make? The fossil of a sea monster, the fossil of a giant bat, or the fossil of a tiny duck? A, B, or C? What do you think? Well, we just read, it is the fossil of a sea monster. And this is, remember, a true story. This really, really happened. Okay, wow. What else can we finish? Well, in small groups, I want you to continue retelling the middle of the story. Now, more action has happened, and I also would like you to, to talk about in small groups with Mr. Gregory and Miss Vanessa about how Mary is responding to the challenges in her life, all right? So I cannot wait to hear about your discussions in small groups. And what we can learn is when there's challenges, what can we do in our own life to meet them head on? Okay, thank you for your attention. I appreciate your time and I will see you next time.